Hey guys, welcome to day 46 of my 25 push-ups a day. Uh, today is sponge cake day, so if you're baking any cakes today, remember it's sponge cake day. It's also ride the wind day, so I'm assuming if you're a skydiver or hang glider and that you can ride the wind. Uh, I don't think that uh, pertains to any flatulence and riding any of that kind of wind. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you some more knee push-ups and variations of those. Let's get to the 25 push-ups and the variations on your knees. So before you start, make sure you've got something under your knees with a bit of padding, as you can see I have here. So it just helps those knees on the hard surface. Now get your hands up in front, just under your shoulder width, and then straighten your body, clench your glutes and your core so you're stiff and then lower down slowly, keeping your elbows close to your sides as you do a standard push-up. So do it controlled and slow. You don't want any fast movements because you can get injuries from that. And just take it easy. If you find it too difficult in that position, bend your body slightly, moving your hands back, and do the push-ups as you see them now. It will be much easier, but engages more of the shoulders. Moving on to our next knee push-up, this is the pike knee push-up. Basically you engage more of your shoulders here. So what you do is you lower your head down and try and face the ground more. And as you lower and bend your elbows, you will then touch your forehead onto the floor and then press up as you were doing a normal press up. You will feel your shoulders more engaged in this. And as you do this push-up, you'll notice your elbows will come out more to the side as you can see here, rather than being next to you compared to a normal push-up. The next push-up we have is the shoulder tap push-up. So get in the same position as a normal knee push-up. And then as you lower down to a normal push-up, when you get to the top, then tap your opposite shoulder to the hand that you are lifting. This will engage your stomach more, so your core will be more engaged. And you will actually feel this as you lift off the one hand because your balance becomes a bit unstable. Our next push-up is an explosive knee push-up. You'll see I'm wearing wristbands for this as they do support the wrist with more impact and explosive movements. I've placed a link in the below description so if you want to check those out you can click on that and have a look. So with these push-ups it's basically a knee push-up but this time you're going to be more explosive on the upward movement forcing yourself into the air and then as you land, try and control yourself coming down slower to the ground and finishing the push-up. The last push-up is the clap push-up on your knees. So get in the standard position as a normal knee push-up. And as you push up, again, use the explosive push-up to push you off the ground, clap your hands and place them back into the original position, lowering down slowly as to not injure yourself and smack your face in the floor. Okay, so that was the knee push-up uh, video that I've done for you guys with some variations. I also had some uh, wrist straps on which do assist uh, with any pains in the wrist and that I do find it easier doing push-ups so you'll probably see more videos with those straps on. And uh, yeah, just remember when you're doing knee push-ups on a hard surface to put some padding underneath and uh, it just makes it that little bit easier. So thanks for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers.